Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled a cosmic zoo in Cepheus. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a couple a number of different nebulae within the constellation of Cepheus, the king in the northern sky. And why do we call it a cosmic zoo? And that is because a lot of them have a resemblance here to animals on Earth. So what we're really seeing is glowing gases and dust clouds within this star forming region in the northern sky. Now, if we look, we see the uh, first uh, we see an emission nebula to the left, which is excited by a central star there emitting a lot of ultraviolet radiation. And we see some of those winding dark nebulae scattered around there. And this is often known as the elephant's trunk nebula. So that is a little below and to the right of the center of the nebula. So that's what's called the elephant's trunk nebula there. And we also see the uh, above that and that above it, we see what is called the flying bat nebula. So on the left hand side, we see a flying bat and an elephant. And then on the right, we see the giant squid nebula, which has the bluish color there at the central of the nebula on the right hand side. And then finally, near the lower side on the lower uh, right side of the image, we see what is known as the dark seahorse nebula. And you can see that very close to the right hand side. Now the dark nebulae such as the elephant's trunk nebula and the dark seahorse nebula are regions where protostars are buried. These are regions of heavier dust and they block us out from being able to see within them. And within those stars are in the process of collapsing and forming new stars. Those stars that are just beginning to form are called protostars. So they're not quite stars yet. And in fact our definition of something to be a star would require it to be able to fuse elements in its core. It would have to be undergoing nuclear fusion in its core. Well, these protostars are not quite massive enough and hot enough to do this yet. They are still in the process of collapsing, accreting material, becoming larger, and of increasing the temperatures in the cores, which require several million degrees to be able to begin to fuse hydrogen into helium. So we're not quite to that stage within these yet. However, when they do form the massive stars that form do emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which then energizes the gas in the entire region, giving rise to other types of nebulae that we see here, and especially the red glow of hydrogen gas that is visible throughout this image. And that is energized by just a few very hot stars that emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation. So here we get to see a star forming region today with some of the nebulae maybe bearing a passing resemblance to different types of animals here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for August 17th of 2023. It was titled a cosmic zoo in Cepheus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be northern Pluto. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.